In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Iroquois tribe. The Iroquois lived in what is modern-day New York. This tribe is, is split into six, six groups, or they call six nations. Some of the different tribes of these six nations are the Tuscarora, the Mohawk, the Seneca, the Onondaga, and two more. So the tribe is built a longhouse that is 100 feet long that can fit 20 uh, families, about like 30 to 60 people. Um, and uh, the longhouse was built with wood, um, animal skin, and um, bark. But in our model, we did not put that. We only um, put it with wood. So they put the animal skin for the walls and the bark for the wall and for the walls. And it has two doors right here. You can see, so you can go in and out. And this one longhouse can be a part of a big village. So this is our longhouse model. Now let's begin what the, the food and what they were wearing. So the food they ate are deer, bean, squash, and corn. They named the bean, squash, and corn the three sisters. These bean, um, corn, and squash is very important food for them. They mostly ate that all the time. So the a clothing Iroquois wear were deer skin clothing and their shoes were made out of leather or corn husk. They decorated their um, clothes by using porcupine um, quills, um, sh uh, shells, and beans. So the um, Iroquois hairstyle had um, a mohawk hairstyle. So the Iroquois hairstyle had a mohawk hairstyle. You can see here. One famous artifact that the Iroquois had was called wampum. It was a special writing way that the Iroquois used with strings and beads. The famous wampum writing they did is called the Hi Hiwata Belt. Things like canoes, tools, and their homes were also some artifacts. Some traditions of the Iroquois was the sacred bowl game. This was played during the mid ceremonial of midwinter, which was the last day of the year. Every year, they held about six festivals. Next, let's talk about the Iroquois government. There were six nations in the Iroquois. These six nations, the people elected as one person. This one person would become head of the whole nation. Next, there were their wives. These wives uh, chose 50 people or 50 sachems to be the great council. The great council is where they made war and and other religious schedules. Here, the sachems were picked by women and could also be removed if they were not doing a good job. So women also had a huge role in society. Next, let's talk about women roles in the Iroquois tribe. The women of the Iroquois tribe had more freedom than any other tribe. Here, the women could be elected as mothers of the nation and also they were able to vote, own property, etc. These are all about Iroquois, and this is our model. This would be a longhouse. The length is really long. There's two doors. So basically, this would be very long, um, th which would represent the longhouse in length. And there are two doors. So there would be an exit and entrance that it wouldn't overcrowd in one certain place. And the reason why is because lots of people were living inside. And longhouses were only parts of big villages in the Iroquois tribe.